What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Nightmares from the Deep. We're up to episode 6 and we are back once again. Last week I didn't get out another video because I was sick, but I'm feeling better now. So we are back ready to continue with the continue with the story, right? Uh, in the last episode we discovered that Davy Jones's daughter was uh I believe that she's been shot. Uh, we haven't technically confirmed it, but there has been like uh, in the in the garden area where she's kept. There was like a, a puzzle that had like a shooter type guy. So I think it's hinting that she was like maybe shot. Uh, and Davy Jones is trying to keep her alive in this apparatus, uh, and that is his pledge that we discovered. So now I can't remember what. We were up to specifically. Let's see. We got the we got the monocle, we got the valve, and we got a cog. What is this? Is this a thing? That was the lantern. Um. Yes. So let's let's get back into where we're up to. Just kind of familiarize myself. It's been a couple of a couple of weeks since I played this. Uh, so we got the courtyard, which is where we were. <coughs> so is that this? No. Be this guy? Aha. Uh -huh. Right, that's right. Bring old mate down. G'day, mate. Thank you, stranger. Who knows how long I was up there? The world changed so much before my very eyes. Anyway, take this shiny symbol. It's all I have to give. Why, thank you. Oh, oh I recognize. Uh, that shit. you go through the door on the other side of the ice house. If memory serves me right, the lawyer had a key to them. The lawyer had a key to them. I can't remember. Have we met the lawyer? That was the guy that we met, yeah? symbol. Mom, you oh. okay? I heard some weird noises. I got worried. I hope we can get away from here soon. Maybe I can find a way once I'm inside the palace. Wait, was that her saying that or me saying that? Her mouth was moving. If anyone can cancel the pact with Davy Jones, <laughs> it's you, Mom. Oh, it was her. Got anything in here? Symbols in here, though. Right. Yeah. Oh. Well, well, well. What do we have here? All right. Uh. So is this still this? Maybe. I think we've got everything in this room now. Let's give old mate his necklace. Now, oh, we have his monocle as well. Hey. Okay, this says nine. Okay. What does this say? Uh, switch loose, switch loose pieces between the panels until each. Is in uh, is logically complete. Okay. Uh, I assume the hammer is going to ring something. So that's oh maybe it goes here. Hey. And then a crystal goes. Uh, hmm. 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 <laughs> yeah. No. You know that goes there. This goes here. Oh. Aha, I can I can put it down. Alright, this. 
here. Or there. <laughs> I'll grab this. Yeah. <laughs> Man, this is awesome. Need that too. No, I don't need a hint. I'm just playing. Uh, oh, right. So then this goes here. This goes here. Boom. That probably is the last one we put in. Bada bing. Bada boom. I like that puzzle. Visually, that was a f that was a fun, cool little puzzle. But I remember the triangle shape. I'm trying to. Re I remember the shape. I don't know. I don't remember where. Davy Jones. Davy Jones through through O'Malley. <laughs> I am really good at the reading. David Jones threw O'Malley down the mines and locked him up. Without O'Malley, we'll never wake up the girl. And without her, the pact can't be fulfilled. Well, that seems kind of counterproductive to what his goal was. Or is. Diary roll. Is that like a... Has something inscribed on it and we like print it out onto something? Potentially? She. What? How? How are you? <laughs> Damn, you got a Hawkeye. The cell is open. Davy must have taken her. Damn, you, you saw that from literal mile away. Well. Where is he taking her? I have to stay quiet, or we'll both get oh, locked away. Oh, I see. He got her a friend. He's like... You two can be friends. Alright, let's head upstairs. I have a feeling there was like... There was a slot... Up here? Oh, it's... Maybe not. Can't talk to him yet. All right. Well, let's see what he's doing. Oi, you. <laughs> well, just so happens. What does this symbol mean? Nothing. Ah! Wow! Wow, that was awesome! Wonder what that. F How can he do all this? He's a father himself. Oh, I thought you were asking that literally. I was like, magic. <laughs> he does it with magic. Alright, so now we got another one. Ooh, hey now. Another puzzle piece. 
What's with the lizards? <laughs> Who's your good boy? Oh, I now see what the cogs are for. The boat is the boat is tilted on one side. I wouldn't dare to <laughs> to enter. I assume we have to patch it up. Oh, here we go. Done. I'm sure I'm sure that will hold. <laughs> yeah, that is probably fine. Alright, and we also, I assume, have to pump it up, which is probably what this is. Oh! Ha! Look at me go! We need a power crystal! Also, yoink! So we need... another one. This looks like some kind of alchemical engine. Did O'Malley create this? Ooh. Okay. What's this? Oh, a car. Perfect. Just need to look out for a... Uh, actually, I'm not sure if we got them all yet. Let's have a look. Uh, menu. Achievements. What are we still yet to collect? Collectible. Okay, so we still got like, what? Three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. We have six. Oh, yeah, six more. Puzzle pieces. We got a ton. We got a bunch to get. Back. All right, let's let's do this. I want this to go up there. This one's broken. down there, like this, uh, this, that up, Go away. I want to figure it out myself. I think, I think we're good. Alright. Hey, look at this guy.
man, this is what I mean about this game. Just, what a cool looking room. So I'm assuming this is O'Malley's, uh, probably like his office or like his work workshop or something. Success! I have created a recipe for a potion that kills aggressive weeds. Acquire weed leaf. Put it under microscope. Sort the cells. The microscope will produce the potion. I mean, that's a pretty advanced microscope. That's... Righty. Uh, do I have anything? Diary roll. Okay, so... This probably has something to do with Old Mate. It's probably Old Mate's diary. Oh, I'll take that. Oop. Uh -huh. Yo! That's cool. Potion that revives the dead. Will it work on Mr. Jones' daughter? My deal would be fulfilled. Freedom at last! The potion works differently on me because of the pact I have with Mr. Jones. Until it stands, I cannot die anyway. So the potion only restores my body. I need to examine the properties of the elixir further. I've noticed that it rapidly increases the growth of plants. Until I know all of its properties, I've put the potion in a sterile container locked with a code. Here it is. All right. Man, that was cool. Like a combination of like a, pro a projector and um, uh, what do you what do you call those? They're like uh, music boxes uh, with the barrel. There's a little ends. That was cool. See, it's, it's that sort of um, imagination and uh, and stuff that this game has. It's really. It really gets your own imagination kind of thinking of, uh, thinking in new ways. I'm, I'm still really curious what this, uh, like, aesthetic and art style, not art style, um, like, design style is. It's like a, a mixture of, uh, technology, but like steampunk technology with, like, Elven, uh, an, like an elven style, uh, of, of ornate stuff. I, I don't know, I don't know how else to explain it, but it's really cool. It's, um, it's a, it's a style I've seen before, but rarely. And I think it's, a, it's, it would make a really cool, like more modern, uh, 3D game. It would be cool to see this style in like a, a more modern day game. Hmm. Who knows, maybe I'll make a game that uses this. Oh, wait, is it... That... T... P... Uh, T... Let's go T... P... O. Okay, that's... We only have that. These two are the ones that are missing and that we have to find. Anything else? Yes, what is this? While working on the reviving potion, I've accidentally created an aggressive type of weed <laughs> which seems to spread across the island. Okay. Is it alive? Wait, wait, what did it say?
Oh, wait. You have to do it in a certain order? Guess not. Let's put this in here. E O. The O. Any other mysterious things in here? Does it not look like it? Alright, well, let's investigate this plant thing. Once. What are you doing? Mom, the door's locked from the outside. You have to find a key. Wait, what? So there's a potion that could revive his daughter and end the pacts? That's great news, Mom. If the potion fails, we'll just escape this cursed island. What? That, I don't think that's how that works. I'll take a spring. The supplies for the pla for the palace. Wait, what? So the supplies for the palace are delivered by means of a crane. If the door gets locked, use the spare key. The red. <laughs> I don't know what that. What is that? Red ribbon? Uh, that is that is not an R. The red ribbon will show will show you where. Okay. There is something under the moss, yes. There is. Okay, I need some kind of knife. What we have here? Oh, spring. To do a thing. Okay, well, th this bends down. Right, no, this rotates, which causes this to go click, 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 click. So that's the ratchet. This rotates. Oh, hello, puzzle piece. Is the spring meant for anything? Oh. See, I knew it. <laughs> I will take that off your hands. There's a clam ch uh, chews on something. Is it a faucet? Ah. I mean, that looks like a starfish and a shell to me. Is it a fa faucet? Yo, what's up? Hey, what's up? Am I reading this wrong? Is this not faucet? Faucet. I'm pretty sure that's how that's spelled. I've... It's a rare thing to see spelled. But 
pretty sure what that's what that is. Oh, let's let's do this. Let's key in the password, shall we? Who is it? Uh, T P O. The reviving potion. Will it wake up Davy's daughter? <laughs> Watch it like kill her or like mutate her or something or do something really bad and then we're going to get in trouble. Oh, <laughs> she just grows really big. Get a doubloon. Hey, was there was there another thing around here? See what this thing has to say. Another diary entry. It's a terrible irony. I've created the reviving potion, and it's not enough to wake up Mr. Jones' daughter. I think that some special ingredient is missing. I suspect it's the famous treasure. The legend says that the clue to its location is in the vault. But I've never seen it. It has to be on the island. Mr. Jones is coming. He is furious. <laughs> oh, is that why he threw you down there? Because it didn't work. Oh. What do we have here? I mean, wind, water, fire, so we have to get earth. Got a key. Blue here, red, green. Open it up. Do I need to get the thingy? Fuck. Okay, we'll take that and that. Pop the cog on here. Perfect, we got the ring for that. Coin. I'm assuming this is going to get us the last one. Earth. Perfect. Alright, we got the blue planet. Now we can get her on there. And then it was blue, red, green. So, blue, red, green. And now... Oh, 
We got ourselves a dagger. Very nice. All right. Well, I think I think we've reached a good place to end it. We will be using the dagger in the next episode, and we will also insert the doubloon uh, into into old mate right here. So. We'll do all of that in the next episode. If you'd like this video, as always, definitely hit the like button. Uh, if you're not subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button. That helps the channel to grow and all that sort of stuff. Uh, if you're enjoying this series as well, uh, let me know down in the comments uh, what your favorite part of this uh, series is. Uh, have you played this game yourself? Are you going to play this game, etc.? I'd be interested to know. Uh, but yeah, I'm really enjoying this, man. Like, just the visual style, the creativity in this game. Uh, I think because cause the art style is just so... Um, like, the the implementation of this game ha has a lot of elements that can be done... How, what am I trying to say? It's, it's, it's not a open 3D world that requires all of this complexity. So... Because it doesn't have to worry about those elements, it can really focus on the elements that it does have and really, like, uh, bring those to life and really um, work on making those really something enjoyable, something beautiful, something uh, fun to play. And I've, I've, I've been thinking about this a lot, actually, in the past, um, like, past maybe few months. Is a lot of a lot of games nowadays. I, I hear this from a lot of friends that the the games that come out these days just aren't as fun, or they get bored of them very easily, and there's just something missing. And I think a lot of game companies are very ambitious with the games that they want to create nowadays, but there there's this certain charm of old games that. Especially games that I grew up with that were more simple, that didn't have these big AAA budgets, and because they had these restrictions, they could really produce something uh, memorable and something really amazing. Based on it was it was the restrictions that made that happen because you have to think creative, you had to kind of um, work with what you had and make that work to the best that you could, right? Like, for example, uh, a game that I've been replaying uh, is Old World. I've been playing that in my, my spare time, and that game takes pre-rendered 2D videos and integrates it so well with the, the art style that it almost creates a seamless transition between uh, the gameplay and the cutscenes and the transitions and stuff, because... Uh, because of the limitations of the PlayStation 1, they kind of, they look to, they look to creative ways to create, um, essentially in-game cutscenes that weren't in-game, they were pre-rendered, and they did a really good job. I might, I might play that, I might play that series somewhere down the line, uh, to kind of illustrate that, because I think that's a really good game to kind of, uh, demonstrate that. I know maybe, maybe we play the new one as well uh, and do like a, a comparison. That might be cool. But yeah, uh, I'm rambling now. Uh, <laughs> if you, uh, yeah, if you, if you guys are enjoying the series, if you're interested in uh, learning more about game development in particular, I'm going to be posting tutorials over on my second channel, uh, which is going to be geared more towards like game development stuff. Uh, I'm working on a project that I have just. I've literally just transferred everything from my Unity game project onto the Unreal Engine. Uh, and I'll tell you um, in my videos over there just how much of a, a difference uh, switching game engines was and all that sort of stuff. So uh, if you're interested in hearing about all that sort of stuff, uh, learning more about game development and kind of getting more of a backstage insight as to what goes on... Uh, in game development and that sort of thing. If that's more your interest, definitely head over to that channel and check that out. I'm going to be doing tutorials and I've got a devlog series that I'm working on that I, I plan on releasing very soon. Uh, so yeah, if you're interested in all that sort of stuff, definitely go over there and check that out. And until next time, I thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time.